So here we are in sunny Friesland um, with this giant bathtub that I just bought. It's four and a half meters long and 1.3 meters wide and it's gonna need some love. It's, uh, yeah, the Dutch name is Friese uh, Ruisgau and uh, yeah, suppose it's a Dutch, typical Dutch model boat. So couple of things that's wrong with it as well apparently it's quite rusty um, and there used to be a bench here and a bench in the front um, so the, the the bracket is still there on this side it's completely rusted off so the things that we're going to be doing is first of all clean the whole inside get rid of all the rust wire brush every little part of it weld back in a little bracket for the seat and paint the interior check for leaks if it leaks grind it back down again fix the wear, fix the leaks and yeah paint it again then for the outside it's going to be mostly the same uh, yeah just grinding it grinding it down to metal and painting it and it'll be lovely right before summer. Well I've been going at it for like 20 minutes now and I'm feeling kind of odd because the whole wire brush thingy comes off flying every 30 seconds. I'm wearing gloves, wearing eye protection but progress is not going that quick. Started over there in the front, been going to the side and we'll keep going. So, after well, a little bit of work doing this bit, a lot of dust came up and a lot of stuff has accumulated over here. So, I'm gonna clean that up. Hmm, lovely dusty. So, I get why these professional ones, not this one, have guards around them, because stuff breaks off like these, and they fly at your face. That hurts. Oh, the difference a little bit of wire brushing can make. It's only taking the light rust off. The rest is for the flap disc tomorrow. It's so satisfying. difference a couple of hours of simply wire brushing have made. The bottom is nearly rust free here, you can't see it really well because it's kind of getting shady here. The rear end still needs to be done. But really lovely. So now, time for a beer. Get back to it tomorrow. Good morning. It's the next day. Uh, Put some uh, power wires down already. Uh, well, you can clearly see where I stopped yesterday. Um, continue wire brushing uh, the last bit of the boat, 
and then we'll get the angle grinder out with a flap disc and try to get as much paint off. So, that's it for all the wire brushing. This thing has been a pain in my ass. You can see all the broken off wires everywhere. Well, I think most of them have been coming flying to my face. Somewhat terrifying. But, to the flap disc. So, I'm here with my good friend flap disc on an angle grinder to attack the mostly clean boat got my glasses on got my hearing protection got my little mask because that thing makes a little bit more dust than that thing so here we go so going at it with the flap disc for like maybe three minutes makes me wonder why it didn't do this earlier the thing works wonders let me show you a little bit So one thing I need to tell you is like the goal is not to get it perfectly flat, perfectly clean. Uh, the goal is just to get it flat enough and get enough paint off to the point where I can just paint, put new paint on it and make it look good. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's still a huge steel bathtub. So that's what I'm doing right now. Good morning on day three of the little boat build. Uh, got a bit run away yesterday. Was uh, using the, the, the flap disc on the angle grinder and it worked so well that I got carried away and forgot to film anything. So in the end of the day I got really tired and I just ran inside, had a cup of coffee and went to bed. Uh, yeah, a lot of progress has been made. A thousand different colours have been on these things. It's been blue, it has been green, it has been red, it has been white, it has been well I've seen probably every colour. Um, so for the bottom of the boat, uh, you can still see a little bit of rust, but most of it is off. Um, and actually in the middle part here there is um, some sort of a coating on the bottom. Didn't expect that, so I was grinding away happily and then suddenly smoke went everywhere and I was grinding away rust protection coat. Uh, it's a bit windy today. Lovely weather, happily. Um, yeah, I also took the time to knock off all the rust of these like a shit ton of rust you can see it here build up on these uh, on these mounting panel thingy brackets uh, so I need to grind those down start sanding preparing for painting the inside and cleaning out of course point to go
the boat is all sanded up now. Looks good, it's nice and flat, ready for paint. But before we paint it, there needs to be another bracket on this side. So what I did, I got some 5mm thick plate steel and I got some cardboard, drew around the existing bracket on the boat so that now we can trace it around it's a bit rough but it doesn't really matter we can trace it around and cut it off and then we've got a new bracket for the other side of the boat So, cut out the little sheet of metal, clean it up a bit, get it ready for welding. Uh, got some leftover, might need that to reinforce the rest of the boat later on. Uh, we'll see about that. First, let's get the welder ready to get this into there. Right, I went to the store, got some mani, minium, whatever it is supposed to be red and anti-corrosion some sort of stuff so I'm going to be painting the boat with it got some brushes, got some rollers and I'm going to give it a go I still need to weld in the bracket but since it's very windy I can't really weld outside my MIG welder um, can't really function when it's really windy outside because then the, the, the argon that I weld with will be blown away from the weld and the weld will be very crappy so I'm gonna give this stuff a shot so the inside of the boat doesn't rust and then I'll try and weld the bracket in tomorrow mmm lovely whoop been stirring it for a while now, let's give it a go. Well, apparently the roller doesn't roll for shit, but it's getting applied. So I'm about halfway through and this stuff d dries out wicked quick, so 
trying to race against it and have this whole thing inside painted up before it all dries out so not much time to film only time to paint uh, I'll show the results when I'm done or when it's dried up right well that's the first coat of this mini stuff on on the inside Got barely had enough very empty now still some spots left with very little coverage but it's all done I left that side and this spot clear for me to weld on the bracket tomorrow now let's have it dry and enjoy a cup of coffee